So first of all I want to thank Loli Poly and Dio Lel Beel because I am using references and textures from these amazing models from Sketchfab. Alright, so let's start with this uh, roof tiles first. So in Krita I created these individual tiles. I took reference from the Sketchfab models and textures and then saved it as a GIH image. Now in a new Krita file, select any of these animated brushes, go to options and click on import and select your GIH file. Select that tile and start drawing and it will draw the tiles randomly. Change the spacing and use the color, saturation and value. Select the fuzzy dab option in both and use this curve to select different colors. Because the original tiles were grey, now you can select any color and draw. Use the line tool to create a straight line of the tiles. For wall texture, select the fill tool, select a lighter grey color, fill the base layer and in new layer use the texture brushes with some darker color and start adding some details. For wood, I used this downloaded texture from Sketchfab and I modified it a little bit. So basically I edited it in such a way that it looks a continuous texture. I painted some gaps in here and modified the color a little bit. I added this wooden door again from Sketchfab and then I painted some basic flowers here. This tone texture is also a free texture from itch. Now in Blender, I just created some basic shapes and placed the UVs as per the texture. To create UVs of curved objects like this, simply select one edge and press U, mark seam, then select all, press U and unwrap. And to straighten this type of curved UV set, just straight one of the faces like this one. So select it, select the vertices with one and right click straighten. Straighten all the vertices, then select this face, press L to select rest of the connected faces and search for follow active quad. 
and it will straighten the UVs. Now just position them according to the texture. So once I created all these modular tiles, I started joining these tiles to create the houses. You can create mirror versions of these tiles by just scaling them negative 1 in the right direction. So for example to mirror this, I will just press S, Y, minus 1 and it is mirrored. This also works in the object mode. So if I go to object mode and select only this center tile with L and again press S, Y, minus 1. Keep in mind that this mirroring will reorient the faces of the objects. So you can check that by going to overlays and face orientation. And as you can see this is red. So go to edit mode. Select this again. And press shift N to reorient the faces. When you have created a big house like this and then you want to swap the tiles. So for example, these front tiles, I want to swap with these window tiles. You can do that by selecting all the tiles that you want to swap and shift select the tile that you want to swap with in the end and press Ctrl L and click on link object data and it will swap the tiles. Now these tiles are linked. So to remove this link, you can just select these again go to object relations make single user object and data so i created multiple variations of these houses with different red and blue tiles and created this star in the center now these houses are joined together so this is one single object each of these and then i created this ground texture with mixing two textures together created some grass and flowers and also added some of these extra objects like this lamppost, ladders, etc. And this is the file where I have all these individual tiles, all the assets and also these houses are not joined. So you can select any of these tiles, swap together 
and create your own variations of the houses. As always, both of these files are available to download. Link is in the description. And I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.